Setting up sales tax is a two-part process. First, you have to set up the sales tax authorities that you will use. Second, you must create the sales tax codes using the sales tax authorities. Sales tax authorities are the tax rates for individual government agencies. A sales tax code is a group of one or more sales tax authorities. When you create the invoices, the sales tax code is what is used to calculate the sales tax. You can see how much sales tax has been collected per authority by using the taxable and exempt sales report. To set up your sales tax authorities and sales tax codes in Sage 50, you can select Maintain and then Sales Taxes from the menu bar. Doing this will open the Set Up Sales Taxes window where you can see your available options for creating, editing, deleting, and otherwise maintaining your tax codes and tax agencies. To set up a new sales tax in this window, select the Set Up a New Sales Tax option and then click the Next button at the bottom of the window to continue. The next screen allows you to enter the total rate that will be charged for the sales tax into the first available box. Note that if your sales tax is based on a formula, then you will instead leave the percentage box blank. You then use the drop-down to select the number of individual agencies that make up the total tax that you will be collecting. Once you have made your choices, you then click the Next button to continue. The next screen in this window then wants you to set up your taxing authorities for your sales tax. You must enter the information for each taxing authority that you selected on the previous screen. Be sure to indicate how much of the total tax rate this vendor is collecting and which account will be used to track the taxes that you collect. Note that you can use the drop-down in the middle of this screen to select the Buy Formula option if you need to enter a sales tax rate that is based on a formula versus a flat percentage. When you are finished, click the Next button to continue setting up your tax agencies. If you have only one agency collecting a single tax, or once you have finished entering your taxing authorities, the last screen will allow you to name your sales tax code. You also select whether to charge tax on shipping if needed for your state. Once that information has been entered, you can then click the Finish button to finish creating the sales tax. In the future, if you wish to edit, delete, or simply review the sales tax codes and sales tax agencies that you have created, you can also do that from the Set Up Sales Taxes screen. To edit either the tax agency information or the associated code, select the Edit an Existing Sales Tax or Sales Tax Agency option, and then click the Next button. In the following screens, you can then select to edit either the code or the agencies as desired. As when creating the sales tax, you simply change whatever information is desired in each screen while clicking the Next button to continue. You would then click the Finish button when you are finished making your changes.